it makes me feel like these god skin apostles guys are some kind of megalomaniacs hey music friends this is davi vasca i'm a music composer for games and you guys have been recommending a ton of elden ring tracks and we're gonna get to all of them eventually of course but today we're gonna listen to and talk about the track from elden ring that i've seen being recommended the most in my comments which is uh, god skin apostles so let's go Wow. There's choirs right from the beginning. Whoa, some crazy harmony there. As always, the name of the track gives me a, a few hints about what the track is about. And in this case, immediately the, the track, the, the music itself, is confirming all of the hints that the, the title of the, the song is giving me. So, Godskin Apostles. So, Apostles, I, I assume they are followers of some kind of cult. So, there's some religious connotation to these guys. And the music 100% uh, immediately, as I started hearing it, immediately confirmed that for me. So, first of all, first thing that caught my attention, the organ. Can you hear the organ? There's a very church-like organ. And the organ, of course, is very associated, you know, with, with religion, with Christianity. And... Also, the, the, the choirs, choirs are also very related to, you know, to masses, uh, to Christianity, to religion. And usually in these uh, Soulsborne tracks, they usually reserve the choirs for the hard hit, hard hit in parts, you know, the second phase of a boss. But here they, they're going at it right from the start. So it feels like they really want to reinforce that religious uh, aspect of it. But the most interesting part of all in this beginning here is that as soon as I started listening to this, I was expecting a kind of chord that they always, uh, game composers and film composers as well to a certain extent, always like to use when they are portraying something religious. And it's this chord sequence here. Sounds very spiritual, right? Some, sounds kind of relaxing. This is a very well-known sequence. It's an ancient sequence that has been used in Christianity for like ages. So it has become very associated with religion and with spiritual things. This is called the Amen sequence. And in some churches, they, they, even, they even sing it like this. Amen. And I was expecting them to use this here and, and I, I was waiting for it and they did use it, but when it came up, it sounded kind of twisted and wrong and not, you know, relaxing and spiritual like I expected. Check this out. So here it comes. This is the first chord of the Amen sequence. It sounds very glorious and, and holy and positive, right? But then... The, the next chord of, of the, se the second chord of the Amen sequence comes up and it sounds wrong, so sounds evil and, and demonic. So this is what they did. In instead of making the, the Amen sequence very spiritual and positive like this, they replaced the second chord and now it sounds like this. Very disturbing, right? This is a, an extremely, extremely disturbing chord. So it feels like they, how do you say, they, they desecrated the, the Amen sequence to make it something demonic and twisted. Another thing I'm noticing about this... Ooh, there's a very 
there's a very March-like rhythm to it, and in, in that sense, it, it reminds me a bit of the Living Failures theme. Feels very intimidating and kind of authoritarian because it sounds like a march, sounds kind of like an, an army. This sounds like another religious reference. Oh. This is beautiful. So a lot of religious references here. A lot of melodies that sound like hymns, like church hymns. It sounds like a congregation of faithful singing and a lot of positivity too and this is exciting because it sounds very different from other Soulsborne uh, soundtracks it feels like they are trying to portray these these godskin apostles as guys that at least think that they're very holy and righteous and on the other hand there's also a lot of aggressive and disturbing chords which i guess is appropriate for guys that up uphold their their holiness and their dogmas through violence. There's almost an, an ironic sense of righteousness to this. Oh God. It sounds glorious. Oh my God. This sounds very much like a church hymn, right? This is so refreshing. Second phase. Hold up, before we move on to the second phase, I really want to highlight that glorious chord sequence uh, going into this, this church hymn part. This, to me, sounds so refreshing. Uh, from the perspective of Soulsborne music, they, they are clearly in Elden Ring, they're, they're clearly not afraid to go a little bit more towards the positive heroic side. And this shows, th this race, it's almost all happy chords. And I'm, I'm not gonna show you all the chords because there's a ton of chords here, but check out the just the, the opening chords of this. <laughs> So it's almost all happy chords, this is really cool to see. Uh, other Soulsborne soundtracks, especially stuff like Bloodborne, would never allow for something like this. Okay, second phase. A lot more violent. This is... Oh. Can you feel the rhythm? One, two, three, one, two, three, one... Oh, this was awesome! It feels, you know, the, the three beat measure, one, two, three, one, two, three, feels a bit more dynamic. So it, it changes the pace a little bit for the second phase. But also it, it makes this sound very disturbing because on top of all that, the, the track also now sounds a lot more violent and the glorious positive and, and holy chords are still there as well. But, you know, at the beginning I was like, wow, that, this is exciting. There's positive 
happy chords in a Soulsborne soundtrack. This is great. But now even the happy chords, they sound disturbing because they're surrounded with so much aggression, so much violence. It, the, the happy chords feel like they are charged with, charged with some kind of lunacy. You know, it makes me feel like these Godskin Apostles guys are some kind of megalomaniacs. It feels like they think too highly of themselves, highly enough for it to scare me. It's getting quieter, it seems. Choir only parts. Oh man. Okay, so now it's repeating the hymn like part with more intensity. Now I just have to highlight this part here, there's so much impact, listen here how they first they, they mute the, the entire orchestra and just the, the gentle female choirs are singing and then with a delay they come crashing down the whole orchestra with so much punch, feels like a hammer. It almost feels like they are separating and emphasizing the two main aspects of this track. One aspect is the more benevolent and spiritual side, religious side of it, which to be honest at this point feels kind of twisted. And the other side is the, the aggression, or the, the violence and the madness. So first the gentle choirs. Did you hear it? That delay, how the orchestra comes like a hammer pounding down with a delay. The library of videos about Elden Ring music is growing and I'll have a small playlist with all of them over here. And over here I'm gonna put a playlist with all my videos about Soulsborne music if you're into that. Keep sharing your favorite Elden Ring tracks with me. After all, this is what this channel is all about, sharing the music from the games that we love. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.